Hi and hello, welcome to this new Unity tutorial. Today we're gonna learn on how to move around the virtual space and how to interact with objects in VR. In this video, I'm using VR Builder. VR Builder is the free and open source Unity plugin for VR content creation. And what I really love about this plugin is that it makes everything super easy. So let's check it out. Okay, so here you can see my open Unity project. And I've created the scene with some free assets from the Unity Asset Store. I've included the link to the different assets in the video description. As a preparation for this tutorial, you can also already download and install VR Builder. As I mentioned, it comes totally free of charge. And I also included the download link in the description. So after you have downloaded and installed VR Builder from the Unity Asset Store, the setup wizard pops up. The setup wizard helps you make the Unity project compatible to the hardware. Press next. And then there's the setup training. So basically you can set up a training course, but we can skip this for now. So press next. Now you can select your VR hardware. In my case it's Windows Mixed Reality. So you just check the tick box and click next. So in the last step of the setup wizard, you have an overview of helpful resources. We also skip them for now and you can press finish. So now in this Unity pop-up window, it just tells us that uh, we should wait until the setup is done. So you can just click continue and wait for a few seconds. So here's the product settings window. So what we can see here is that Windows Mixed Reality has been enabled, as I've chosen before in the setup wizard. And in case your selected hardware has not been chosen by Unity by default, uh, you can do this here manually. Afterwards, we can also close this project settings window. So we can also close the VR Builder setup window for now. Yeah, the workflow editor we can also close because it is not going to be relevant for this tutorial. So as we can see here, VR Builder has added some game objects to the scene. Training configuration points to the training course we could have if we create the process with VR Builder. But since we're not creating any training scene in this video, we can just ignore this. Interaction Rig Loader allows us to use the VR Rig we're using for this scene. So the training is the object the VR Rig will react to. And finally, the Course Controller normally handles which objects can be interacted with in every step of a training course. In this tutorial, we don't create any training course. Also, we want to be able to interact with everything in a sandbox. This is why for our purpose, we must disable the course controller to avoid its default behavior. So after we have set up VR Builder, we can now start with the fun part of this video, teleporting. And to do so, we just need to add a component to the walkable surface. So for this scene, I've created a plane called ground plane. And the ground plane is a default unity plane, which is just below the cabin floor. So to start teleporting, on the inspector tab, click Add Component and search for Teleportation Area. Select it, then change the plane layer from default to XR Teleport. So this will make it possible to teleport through the plane. So in this case we've not been using VR Builder but the Unity Interaction Toolkit. But because VR Builder has already set up everything beforehand, this is all we need to do. And as the last step in our video, we're gonna make the two wine glasses and the wine bottle on the table grabbable. Here the objects only consist of a collider and submeshes. So to make the wine bottle grabbable, select the wine bottle. Then we have to go to the inspector tab, click add component and search for grabbable property. Select it and do the same with the two wine glasses. And now the objects are made grabbable in VR. So now we can hit the play button and we're done. I really hope that I could give you some inspiration for VR content development. Please let me know if it worked. And in case you have feedback or encounter any problems, you can comment directly below or contact me on Discord. I'm happy to help. As always, the link's down in the description. Thanks for watching and see you next time.